Okay, in this video, um, the last one for confidence intervals in this set, um, what we have is a sample of size 35 uh, gave us the results. The sum of the x's was 5,722, and the sum of the x minus the means all squared is equal to 5,915. And we want to construct a 90% confidence interval for the population mean. Now, a couple of things to note here. Uh, we don't know anything about the population. Uh, we don't know uh, the population mean. We don't know the population variance. We don't know if the population is normally distributed or not. All we've got to go on is a sample that we've made of 35 results. Okay. Um, so, because we don't know that the population is normally distributed, our sample size needs to be large enough which it is, in order for us to use the central limit theorem. So that's all well and good. We don't know the population mean, okay? Um, but we can get an estimate for the sample mean, uh, using the sample mean, an unbiased estimator, by using this bit of information here. Because our sample mean, well, I'll use mu, our sample mean mu will be equal to the 5,722, all of them added together, and divide by how many there are. So I divide it by 35. Okay? So 5,722 divided by 35. Okay, it doesn't give me a nice number, so I'm just going to leave it as this improper fraction. Now... As for an unbiased estimator for the variance, the unbiased estimator for the variance, S squared, is this value, the 5915, divided by n minus 1. Okay? It's, remember, it's this formula over n minus 1 which gives me an estimate for the population variance. So I'm dividing that by 34. Now I'm assuming that's not a nice number either. Okay, which is not. Fair enough. So that's my estimate for the population mean. So that's my sample mean. And this is my estimate for the population variance. Okay, now. What I'm now going to say is, well... If I'm looking for a 90% confidence interval, then we want this to be 90%. So these tails must be 5% each. So I want to do the inverse norm of 0.05 to find me this Z value. So the inverse norm, you can do that on your, in your formula booklets or on the calculator. So inverse norm of 0.05 is minus 1.645. So minus 1.645 and the other one is positive 1.645. So I think we're pretty much ready to go. So the confidence interval will be the mean 5722 over 35 plus or minus the z value, 1.645, times by the standard error. Now the standard error will be this thing, 5915 over 34, divided by uh, n, which is 35, square rooted. Okay, so this will give me my confidence interval. So, plugging that into the calculator, we're going to have 5722 over 35. I'll do the takeaway first, 1.645 times by the square root of 5915 over 34, divided by 35. And we get 159.8 as my lower confidence limit. And if I replace it with a plus, 
uh, 167.2 as my upper confidence limit. So I can be 90% confident that the population mean will lie between these two values. Okay, and here I've used um, sample mean and we've used uh, an unbiased estimator for the variance. Um, because we were able to do this, the reason why we were able to do this was because the sample size was 30 or more. So in this case, 35.